Hey guys, it's me Diana, and welcome or welcome back to Diana's World. In today's video, I am in a different setting as per usual. I change up my setting like every video, but I'm in front of my closet. You might be asking, Diana, why are you in front of your closet? Well, that is because I will be doing a closet clean up video. So my closet, I don't really go in my closet because I have this big dresser and I usually put all my clothes in there. But my dresser is now overflowing and I have a big walk-in closet. So now it's time to put that closet to use. So I'm going to be doing that. And first of all, so I don't know when I'm posting this video. I don't know if I'm going to post a video like before this video. But I do know that I posted my summer morning routine and I was wearing this shirt. So if you're asking, oh my god, why are you wearing two shirts in the same video or in two different videos back to back? That's because... The day that I film my morning routine is the day that I'm filming this video too. So I don't want to hear it. Oh, you're musty. Like, girl, I don't want to hear it. Okay? Okay. So um, first, I'm going to give you guys a little thing. So I have this chair of clothes. And you might be thinking, why do you have a chair of clothes? Are they dirty? Are they clean? They're all clean. I just haven't folded them. And another thing I have is not one, not two, but three baskets of clean clothes. Now that's a lot of clothes and I know I can't fit all of them. So I'm going to separate my clothes into a pile of clothes that I want to keep and pile of clothes I don't want to keep or just probably don't fit me. So yes, I will be organizing my closet, but I'll also be organizing my dresser because I noticed there's some jeans or shirts and t-shirts in there that I can't fit anymore. So this is gonna take a long time. I'm starting this video at 6.12. I'm probably gonna be doing this until 10 p.m. Because I know you guys see, I know y'all saw all those clothes, okay? So, first step we're gonna do is the closet. And here's what it looks like in the So, walk. here's my closet. <laughs> As you can see, this is why I needed to do a closet clean out. There's shoe boxes, there's belts, there's a crate, there's another dresser, there's more shoe boxes, clothes over here, clothes over here, clothes down here, board games nothing nothing and then a dog and a barbie set so as you can see this closet clean out was well needed so i'm going to start with the bottom shelf of my closet this right here which is basically literally just hangers and four shirts but i'm going to be looking through my clean clothes basket and my chair clothes chair and i am going to be hanging up clothes that i want to put down there and basically just organizing it and then i'll move on to the top shelf and then i'll move on to this section and then i'll move on to the floor which is probably going to take a while okay so one of the things that i'm going to be hanging up in my closet so basically for me i like to fold my t-shirts and my dresser and i like to hang up my long sleeve shirts and like crop tops and like dress shirts in my closet because I don't like to fold those. So the first shirt that I see in my clean clothes basket is this yellow shirt and this was in my Dallas, Texas vlog because I had a photo shoot in Dallas and I wore this shirt so you probably recognize this shirt. So I am definitely gonna keep it because one, it's actually kind of big on me and I'm gonna keep growing. So I'm going to keep it because it's really pretty and I like it. Another thing I'm going to keep is this sweater. It's really cute. I live in Texas, so it's normally hot, so I usually don't wear stuff like this. But when it does get super cold, like ironic, like <laughs> like out of nowhere, it gets cold in Texas sometimes. I have this just in case. <laughs> I have this coat and it's like this dress coat that I'd wear to like church or if I ever had a fancy event and then I have this regular Nike jacket and I'm going to keep both of them because they both fit pretty well and I might need them for some occasions so I'm going to hang both of those up as well. these two like sweaters and these are things that go like on top of your like dresses like if you're wearing a spaghetti strap dress or something and I'm going to keep both of them because they're both cute this one's like this maroon color and it's like long sleeve and this one's just black and it's short sleeve Here's a 
shirt that I no don't normally wear. If you didn't know, I live in Houston, Texas, so this is a Houston Rocket shirt. And I have two signatures on the shirt, which is why I don't wear it. One is Eric Gordon and one is Austin Rivers. And yes, I actually did, I didn't really, I won't say meet them, but they did. One of them signed my brother's cast because he had a broken pinky at the time. And then I got my shirt signed by both of them. So that's a flex. And I will be keeping it, of course. Like, duh. Alright guys, so here's the first victim that I will be giving away. It's this really cute, just basic black dress and it's like one of those shoulder, like sh the one of the dresses that I show your shoulder. This is from Children's Place, but I can no longer fit it. I have really long legs and as you can clearly see, this is a short dress. So it's very, very short on me and I can't fit it. So I am going to put this in the giveaway pile. And also I think I'm going to add another pile of stuff that I'll pass down to my sister because my sister Dallas is younger than me and she might want this stuff. So I'll go to her and ask her if she'll want any of it. And if she doesn't, I'll just put that in the donation pile. <laughs> my sisters so there's that <laughs> So this right here is this purple Under Armour sweatshirt kind of. It's very thin to be a sweatshirt, but I've had this since sixth grade and I am now going into ninth and it's like kind of tight. The last time I wore this was to my best friend's purple themed birthday party and it was really tight when I wore it there. The only reason I did wear it because it's one of the only purple things I have and it is really, really super cute, but it's really tight and I'm getting older. My legs are getting, I mean, my arms are getting longer and I just can no longer fit it anymore. So I'm gonna pass this down. And since it's Under Armour and it's like sporty, my sister's probably gonna want it anyways. And if she doesn't, I'll just give it away. Here is this Las Vegas sweatshirt and you've probably seen it in some of my videos. This isn't actually my sweatshirt. It's my friend's Julian. It's my friend Juliana's sweatshirt. I remember she gave it to me um, before because I was like cold in class and she wanted to give it to me. But then that whole COVID thing happened and school stopped. So I never got to give it back to her. So, and she's not getting it back because it's comfortable. So it's gonna stay in my closet. <laughs> Once again, these are my sisters. So basically everything I need to hang up is out of this basket right here. So now I'm moving on to the white basket and it clearly seems like there's not a lot of stuff that I need to hang up in here except for this shirt right here. And it kind of reminds me of like Outer Banks because they usually wear these like big, big, like I don't know what to call them. It's not a flannel, but it kind of is a flannel. I don't know what to call them, but it's really cute. And this is actually my brother's but he never wore it, so I just took it out of his closet. Um, but like, I don't know what I would wear it with, but it's like super cute, so I'm gonna keep it. I need to hang in the little white basket is gone so now we're moving on to the big white basket and there's a lot of stuff in here so be prepared so first 
the, the first thing I'm going to hang up is this really cute cardigan I got from my aunt. It is really, really cute and it smells good because I washed it. But it's really cute and it kind of just, it just, it, it feels very Taylor Swift vibes, you know? So I love Taylor Swift and I love this cardigan. So. <music> Another thing I have in here is this sweatshirt I got for Christmas and it says future Mrs. Styles because if you didn't know me and Harry Styles are engaged so I got this sweatshirt to just resemble our love and it's cute and it's purple and now that I'm thinking back to it I could have probably worn this instead of that Under Armour sweatshirt to my best friend's purple theme party but it's whatever I'm going to keep it. <music> So it seems like everything I need to hang up that's in the big white basket is all hung, hang, hung up. So now I'm going to be moving on to the chair, the clothing chair. So next I have this red dress and it is so, so cute. But I wore it recently and it was super tight on me. So I think it's just time to give it up. Hopefully I can find another red dress that looks like this because it's super cute. But unfortunately, I'm gonna have to give it up because I can't fit it anymore. The next thing that I'm going to be giving away is this pink sweatshirt and it's just this regular pink sweatshirt. And if you don't, if you know me personally, I hate spending money. I absolutely despise spending money. When I spend more than $5, I will actually get upset like if you are in my family you know that um I hate spending money I just really really do and I bought this sweatshirt with my Christmas money that my grandma gave me and I regret it so much it's literally like the most basic thing you could get like I could have got a new phone case but instead I bought this and it was way overpriced for it to have no designs on it too so definitely giving this one away. next thing I'm gonna keep is this leather jacket because it makes me feel like I'm in the Outsiders or Greece, so I'm going to keep it. So now I am all done hanging up the clothes that I needed to hang up in those three baskets, but now I'm going to organize my closet and there's some things on the top two shelves that I need to get rid of and just organize so now you're going to come into the closet with me and organize it top shelf is all organized and as you can see it's not as stuffed I actually have space now yes ignore the hangers they're not aesthetic I know but basically here's like a little tour of the top shelf so right here I have jackets right here I have sweatshirts all throughout here I have cardigans these are cropped jackets these are all jerseys and then over here I just have the three things I didn't know where to put. I have my rocket shirt that has um, signatures on it, my really ugly Christmas sweater, and then my puffer jacket slash So now coat. I'm going to be organizing the bottom shelf of the same 
like side of the closet so let's get into that Driving solo, I'm just swerving through my hands When I'm sober, I just don't like who I am Hold me up a four and I feel like myself again Blow me up some dope and I feel like myself again I'ma break every box they try to put me in I got a lot of enemies who used to be my friends Hold me up a four and I feel like myself again Blow me up some dope and I feel like myself again So I'm done organizing my bottom shelf and as you can see I have a lot of space so once I go like back to school shopping or honestly just shopping anywhere I will have a lot of space to fill but basically right here are my two sweaters right here through here are my flannels these are just my regular long sleeve shirts that I don't want to hang up and then all of these are fancy so now shirts. we will be moving on to this side of the closet This side of the shelf is all organized too. Once again, the hangers, not aesthetic, not giving, I know. Um, and also, I also know that I have a huge chunk of space on both of these shelves and I can honestly just combine them, but I don't wanna do that. So I'm just gonna tell you guys what I have here. So these two are like basically Halloween costumes. This one is like a skirt from Claire's and I had this thing for my sixth grade play where I needed a skirt like this and then this is my last year's Halloween costume I was trying to be Sandy from Greece these are all dresses from here to here these are dresses these are overalls a bodysuit and then things for church so this is like a church um shirt that I wear when I usher at church but since COVID has been around I haven't really been able to do that lately and then this is a skirt that I would wear to church now as well it's time to move on to the floor great tell y'all how proud I am of my closet because before my closet was absolutely atrocious atroc <laughs> whatever was absolutely horrible and now it's so clean I can actually walk in it without stubbing my toe so here's my closet So 
it is now currently 702 I started at 612 so it took me a little under an hour but I'm not done yet I still have my whole entire dresser to do so let's go there to be moving on to my jean dresser and just know I will be giving away some jeans. Okay guys, so I am now done organizing and cleaning my dresser. It is currently 7.34. So this honestly took me a little shorter than I expected it to. Um, I thought it was gonna take me a long time. Maybe it's just because I'm an over exaggerator, but I honestly thought it was gonna take me a long time. It took me just a little over an hour. Um, so if you're closet and dressers are in need of decluttering make sure you do that because you don't want to walk into your closet and then break your leg because you cannot walk in there because there's so much stuff on the floor but anyways i'm just going to show you guys my new and revamped okay, dresser. so i didn't really organize this but i probably should have but here's just my jewelry box back here i have earrings i have this um scripture um on this bracelet bracelets right here and then there's supposed to be earrings here but earrings are like scattered everywhere now and i have a lot of over here is basically everything for my grandma so yeah and then in here i have a pair of sunglasses and i think i have my cloud glasses in here too i do so i have two pairs of sunglasses and then some shoelaces don't ask me why i just do and here is my t-shirt drawer um, I didn't even get rid of a lot of t-shirts, but I guess since I was folding up my long sleeve shirts, it took up a lot of space, but now I have a lot of space. So if I ever go back, if when I go back to school shopping, I have space to put those there. Here is my jean drawer, and this is what really needed to be cleaned, and it's all clean now. Um, I have a lot of space for my jeans now. Just ignore like the socks on the floor, please. And then here I have my pajama drawer. And then down here... I have my workout drawer and like I said I don't really have a lot of workout clothes so I kept pretty much everything that I had so if you were wondering how many how much clothes I got rid of here's the big reveal this is how much clothes I got rid of yeah I got rid of all of these clothes um it's actually relieving so now when I go in my closet uh, everything in my closet is something that I want to wear and that I have worn already and just not stuff that has just been trapped in my closet and other people who need it more can now have it so yeah I got rid of a lot of clothes so yeah that's pretty much it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure you like subscribe and comment down below which videos you guys want me to do next also make sure you guys follow all my social medias that will be on the screen and link in the description below bye guys